Now, if you notice when these buttons are large, you can just click and drag. You can um, move this menu where you where you need it to be at. But uh, it's, of course, it's simpler enough to go to the icon size and go to medium icons, so you don't have to drag it around. They're all there. <coughs> now, let's say you actually want to add an icon. Like if you see where I've added this uh, render region icon, which allows me to just select a small portion of something to render it. To add that, if you go to um, you can go to Command Manager, and that actually has every command that you could possibly think of. Well, I mean, it actually has every command that exists instead of Cinema 4D. <coughs> and you can put, like, <laughs> here's a, just copy for every, every little uh, object that you can copy things in. You can change that to however you want, to anything you want to. Like even um, see a mask like a thing. You can you can look up things. <coughs> There's move. And of course, what I did is I uh, looked up render region, render, and you uh, you click on edit palettes. You'll notice all the palettes show up, and you can just move things around. Uh, if if you think that you can uh, make this a little bit uh, easier to use or Maybe if you come from another program, that works a little bit differently. You can change it however you want. The shortcut, um, the icon location. You could probably even make it work pretty similar to Blender, Blender 3D. Not that I would recommend that, unless you, uh, I guess, you're familiar with it. Now let's go again to Edit, and we can just drag these into here and move them around how, however we would like to. If we want to remove one, we just right click and go to delete command. And also, also you can stick this like in some completely different location if you'd like to. Just anywhere you'd like. And uh, of course you can also remove some if you'd like. Nah, but usually it's just easier to make the icons smaller. Now let's talk a little bit about the viewports and cameras. If we middle click the mouse button you notice we get a perspective view, which is the view we've been working in. Then we also get a top view, a right view, and a front view. If we would like, we can uh, click in the middle here, and we can move these around however we would like to. Or if we just want to focus on one, we can middle click on that one by just hovering over it and middle clicking. So we're in the right view, top view, or the front view, or the perspective view. And you can also change what view you're in by going to cameras and changing just just by clicking on the camera left view right view and also there's a bottom view a military view and a few different views hmm so more or less the same gentlemen perspective back to normal perspective <coughs> and there's isometric which is pretty fixed but the uh, parallel view is puts everything in parallel so there is no perspective on anything everything has straight edges so if we get a cube in here we'll see that uh, we rotate around the cube it's pretty much straight on all these angles here that's the um, that's the parallel view if we would like to see this in grid mode we go to display we can um, the lines and we just see lines and if you notice also these shortcut keys here the N is used for most of these so if we get an A, B, C, D, e, F and then G and then F and there's also H I, J, K or I, K, no J but that's, well, that's usually what I prefer to do if you're familiar with them otherwise just use the menu here and notice um, I went to ground shading with lines. If you click off the object, the lines remain there. Let's go back to back into perspective view. So we know if, if you zoom in that these edges are slanted because we are in perspective view now. <coughs> let's uh, let's bring a, s a sphere in here. All right. So we got N A, which is ground shading. And notice also when I press hit the end button. And it, it, it lists the options that I have available to me. 
if I want to go to ground shading A and B and C go back to NA then in D it's more or less the same but probably a little bit quicker hidden line it shows the grid but it, and it just shows a completely flat color and only the front of the grid that's what the hidden lines is go to G that's all the lines isoparms isoparms are generally the, the shape of the ob the general shape of the object no matter how many uh, segments you have you're going to have the same amount of isoparms just the general general shape of that object notice that doesn't change if we go to NG which is the lines view wait I forget that's a different, different option there <coughs> so if we go to box view and uh, even the Q, even the sphere looks like a box. Uh, that's this is only helpful as if you have a whole lot of object in, and a whole lot of objects in your scene, and you just don't have enough oomph in your video card to render them out. The skeleton, <laughs> skeleton is really funny. It's like there they are, they're little dots. Of course, you can actually see skeletons a little bit better in different objects nest these around see so now your your sphere is inside your cube go to R for rotate you can rotate those around so you can't really see a lot with that I usually prefer the wireframe and then the you know there's a few different views here there's lines or or we better showing that showing you that lines headlines the same options available to by hitting the N key and seeing your options. And also, I want you to know that these settings are different for the, the different views you're in. So, if we go to perspective, we can go to perspective in this camera. Notice it's just the grid frame, it's just the wireframe. We can hit NA, we can see our object. And B, we can see our objects with their, their grid lines and we can change that back to what it was, the front view and notice it, it maintains it maintains its display right here go back to ground ground shedding and go back to lines and notice also it's on isoparms so you can't see all the grids there go to wireframe you can then you can actually see all the grids there wireframe is NH you just hit NH on the keyboard and see your wireframe. N A N G N B. That's just usually what I use. Ground shading, ground shading with lines, or just lines. And those usually work out fairly well.